Good afternoon, Philippines. This is Mike Padua, and I'm back. I'm back to our uh, latest update, and we are now going to a special coverage on the rapidly developing tropical cyclone, and it's now named uh, Goring by Pagasa, and international name is Saula. It's a kind of Vietnamese animal. So this is our initial update. For today, Friday, August 25, 2023, this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarini Sur. Before I begin, uh, I would like to apologize. Yesterday, we are not able to uh, release the uh, latest uh, YouTube and Facebook video updates because our advisory page, typhoon2000.info, has reached its uh, capacity, okay? I mean, the uh, hard drive has reached its uh, maximum capacity, so I need to uh, find a new uh, hosting uh, server and after four hours last night I was able to uh, get a new one and uh, this is uh, much better and we have a new dom domain for that advisory page it's typhoon2000.org no longer that info because that info is uh, creating some problems when uh, sharing it to Facebook or Messenger so it's already typhoon2000.org if you need advisories that I personally create for our website typhoon2000 and uh, again uh, we are here to bring you now the very latest on Goring which is uh, going to perform an unusual track because of a developing high pressure area over Hong Kong Okay, and uh, one more thing before we proceed, I just want to uh, share to you a new kind of uh, resilient uh, suite, uh, what we know as resilient suite. This is from Comunidad. This is my current tech partner with Typhoon 2000. And uh, Aaron Cabasal of Comunidad will explain to you why this is very important, particularly the LGUs and uh, other companies that needed this kind of suite. This is very uh, important in this time of climate change, okay? And uh, this uh, Comunidad company has already uh, garnered some awards worldwide. So uh, just take a look. This is uh, the uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center, wherein you can uh, select either resilience suite, sustainability, mobile CAC or physical impact risk assessment. Uh, just go to our website, typhoon2000.ph and click on the banner. Uh, once you click it, you will be uh, forwarded into a Google form wherein you just need to uh, uh, answer all those questions and uh, Aaron will uh, eventually contact you if you need this uh, kind of suite. This is very helpful. As you can see, the local government of Quezon City, Makati, okay, Pasig, and other major cities in Metro Manila has already acquired this and very helpful for their part. Okay, It will avoid more casualties and it will continue to have zero casualty and uh, it will help the economy of every LGU. So take a look and it's uh, uh, a nice uh, suite that could help you in this time of climate change. And this is guaranteed by Typhoon 2000. So let's uh, proceed now with our update. So right now, the low pressure area, which I mentioned during our last uh, video two days ago or three days ago, that I said it could become a tropical cyclone and it did became a tropical cyclone yesterday and it's now undergoing uh, either a rapid intensification phase or an extreme rapid intensification phase. So right now, it's rapidly intensifying. It's already a typhoon uh, because of the appearance of an eye, especially the microwave eye, although it's uh, uh, cloud-covered or cloud-filled. It's a small system to the east of uh, the Balintang Channel, and it's likely to undergo unusual uh, track to the south, 
because of a building high pressure area in the vicinity of uh, Hong Kong. This is only temporary and uh, we have also two other systems to the east. We have a shadow LPA here which is also expected to intensify and become a tropical cyclone after three to five days once Goring start to move towards uh, Taiwan after conducting uh, the unusual track in the next couple of days. And we have another storm here, Damri, which is uh, moving away and this system will track towards uh, the sea east of Japan. It will go that way. Well, this one will track this way. So it's going to create an inverted six figure and then it will make landfall over Taiwan in the middle of next week. And this one will also become a large system that will track towards Okinawa. So the effects of the Philippine Islands will have moderate southwest monsoon. So I'm going to show to you the latest on that in a short while. So here's the Easterly Wave satellite loop. This is a website from China and it's very nice showing the uh, uh, infrared satellite loop of, uh, of Saula. Okay, so there's the eye. And then as you take a look closely on the satellite uh, animation uh, here, okay, the uh, center of the storm is uh, undergoing some vertical uh, hot towers. So these are very cold uh, cloud tops above the storm, uh, minus 80 to 87 degrees centigrade. And uh, it's really a sign that the storm is undergoing uh, rapid intensification. That's why it's already a typhoon as we speak this afternoon. And the trough will continue to bring isolated rain showers and thunderstorms across extreme northern and later across also the uh, uh, most parts of northern Luzon. While here we are still enjoying some good weather but there are some isolated rain showers will be expected through the weekend and the southwest monsoon will be uh, enhanced as the system moves south. So this is the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. You can clearly see here the uh, thunderstorms across uh, Visayas and Mindanao. The southwest monsoon is still uh, weak as of this time, just southwesterly wind flow. But once the system moves here, the southwest monsoon will start to pick up. Okay, so that will be uh, this weekend or early next week. Now here's our track number three from Typhoon 2000. As you can see, it's going to uh, create an inverted uh, six figure because of a building high pressure over Hong Kong. Okay, so it will track more to the south and it's likely to reach almost 200 kph and even uh, higher than that if the rapid intensification phase continues. There's a possibility that it could reach super typhoon strength because of the small size of the system. Smaller sized tropical cyclones tend to rapidly intensify reaching super typhoon in span of one to two days. Okay, so we're going to observe that. But since it's a very small system, the uh, worst weather will be felt over the uh, uh, Philippine Sea, uh, a couple of miles or um, hundreds of miles to the east of Luzon. So uh, uh, it's not uh, suitable for fishing during the next five days because of the effects of this typhoon. Now here's the uh, steering environment and here's the high pressure that I'm uh, talking about. This is the one that will push the system more to the south and southeast. And then we have a monsoon gyre forming here where in there are multiple centers and it's also enhancing the southward, uh, southward movement of uh, uh, Goring. So here's the uh, storm right now. This is the center of the uh, monsoon gyre, which is putting the uh, track of this uh, Damri to move towards this direction. And uh, there's a new one here that will form next week. And if we take a look at the uh, oceanic heat content, this is what I'm saying about. The storm is going to pass over 100 kilojoules of energy. So it's likely to intensify further within the next uh, three days. And here's the uh, all Asian agency trucks and uh, they are all the same that the system will track more to the south and then it will move in a counterclockwise uh, direction 
up north after three days towards the area of Batanes, Taiwan. Okay? And then if we take a look at the uh, all uh, uh, global models of the storm, here is Damri, so uh, we don't uh, need to focus on that system. We are more focused on uh, the, what will on uh, going what will the, this system do but again the worst of the weather is over the coastal waters or over the philippine sea away from land mass but we expect the uh, southwest monsoon and some localized thunderstorms to be enhanced by the system beginning this week and to early next week and here's the uh, ensemble forecast tracks from the European model, courtesy of easterlywave.com. And here's the track of uh, Goring. It's red, meaning it's uh, typhoon intensity. And here's another one that will form early next week that will track towards Okinawa. And this is now Damri, which is expected to move away from the western Pacific towards the to the east of Japan. So here's the three-day forecast from the European model as... Uh, uh, Goring moves south. Uh, the uh, new LPA will form over Guam, and on Monday it could become a tropical depression, while Goring will track towards uh, Taiwan. So we have back-to-back -back cyclones beginning uh, uh, this week to next week. So we expect the southwest monsoon to be activated. Let's hope it won't do any uh, flooding, but. Look at this uh, ECMWF 24-hour rainfall forecast for the next uh, five days until uh, Wednesday. Okay, so here's the southward movement of the typhoon. And then once it moves up, the southwest monsoon will now bring rainfall over the western sections of the country. So western Visayas, Mimaropa, uh, western Luzon uh, by early next week. Well, Bicol region, this is more of a localized thunderstorms and a slight effects of the southwest monsoon. And it will be mostly during the afternoon or evening. And uh, so we are going to observe that in the coming days. Watch out for more updates from Typhoon 2000. So this is the uh, three-day rainfall accumulation forecast. These are thunderstorms over Bicol region for the next three days and the southwest monsoon across the western sections of the country. And this is the violet colored rainfall of uh, Typhoon uh, Goring, which is more than 100 millimeters. So uh, we must be thankful the storm is very small or small sized. So it's, it's going to uh, just uh, enhance the uh, southwest monsoon. So it's going to be uh, the rainfall of this storm is more focused on the uh, Philippine Sea. But there are thunderstorms that we are going to uh, experience in the next uh, seven days. So there you go. That's the uh, latest for today, Friday. We will return tomorrow, Saturday, to give you a quick update on the uh, Typhoon uh, Goring and what will be in store for this weekend. Again, this is Mike Padua saying uh, good day to all. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser, and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.